Hello, the next news. The door opens terrorism investigation after journalists receive explosive devices. Ecuador's public prosecutor has opened a terrorism investigation after at least five journalists receive envelopes containing explosive devices. Three of the envelopes reached the newsroom of Equasiva television channels addressed to radio station EXAM and journalist Carlos Vera were intercepted. country. This is an absolutely clear message of silencing journalists who have been strong in their way of being silencing media who condemn the acts and confirm that in that investigation is underway in a statement. Ecuador's public prosecutor office said it had opened a terrorism investigation that received envelopes containing the device included a single investigation because of the similarities between scary. <laughs> Alright, next there's is UK accuses Russia of disinformation over deleted uranium Russia is deliberately trying to disinform, said the UK Ministry of Defense, after Russian President Vladimir Putin warned London against providing Ukraine with ammunition that contains depleted uranium. On Monday, the UK confirmed that it will send ammunition containing depleted uranium, a development which Putin referenced at a press conference. Today, it became known Great Britain through the mouth of the deputy head the Ministry of Defense of this country announced not only the supply of tanks to Ukraine but also shells with combined uranium. According to the International Atomic Energy, depleted uranium is used in ammunition designed to pierce armor plating because it becomes sharper on impact with the target. It is considerably less radioactive than natural uranium. In response to Putin's remarks, a spokesperson for the MOD said that the British Army has used depleted uranium in its armor piercing shells for decades. Ooh. In news, one powerful earthquake kills at least people in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The death toll from a strong earthquake that struck northeast Afghanistan could rise much higher. Authorities warned after tremors were felt several major Pakistani cities and as far away as the Indian capital, New Delhi. At least 13 people have been confirmed dead so far. For the 6.5 magnitude quake sent residents fleeing from their homes in town across northern Afghanistan and Pakistan as it damaged buildings and triggered landslides. The epicenter registered 40 kilometers south east of the Afghan town of Germ in the Hindukush mountain range, the United States Geological Survey reported. In Afghanistan, people were killed and 70 others injured in affected area across the country, according to Sharaf al Saman, a Mara spokesman for the Ministry of Public. But the number of fatalities may climb as search and rescue teams reach more affected villages, said Shafilu Harahimi, spokesperson for the Ministry of Disaster Management. Some of the districts here are extremely remote and don't have cell phone service.